Here is an interesting food pot strategy from Tony LaPratt, planting corn and beans in the same plot, how he does it, why he does it. Here we go. Doing that for food plots, how important is that for palatability and for deer to find that food well, plot more attractive? Especially like in Michigan where you cannot use minerals or feed, the only thing you can do is build your soil up and make your plant better. And then, and now when they eat it, they get more things. So the other thing we do is high oil corn. And what we do is high oil corn has 10 to 12% more oil. Standard corn only has 4%. It has 235 more calories than regular corn. Also, uh, the oil is what holds all the trace minerals. So because the oil's in there, it has all this extra vitamins for the deer. Then... What's neat about this is I took Roundup Ready high oil corn, base ethanol corn. I mixed it with 70% Roundup Ready soybeans, 30% corn. I plant it with a grain drill, and now there's no rows. I used to plant the field with just corn and beans. Then one year I started going, long time ago, planting all corn, I mean all beans with my grain drill. Then I'd get my corn planter and plant right through the beans like I never planted nothing. The corn would come up, and they both would grow great. The point is the deer detasseled it and desilked all the corn, and then by the, it wouldn't even be the first of November, and all my corn's gone. Same acreage now, because all the corn comes up and there's no rows, the deer don't walk down it, because when you got it in rows, you're making deer runs, just like when they browse next to the run. So now what happens, the deer won't walk in the summertime because you can't see one foot in any direction. So they don't leave it alone, it all makes big ears. Then when the ears dry down and the, and the leaves, they can see it now. I'll have corn until March. Every year since I've done that, I have corn all the way until they shed and it starts greening up. Same acreage. All I did is change the way I laid it out and planted it. That's really interesting. Because, that, I mean, that's the biggest issue when planting just corn or just beans. beans. They now, never there last. There will nobody. If once they do this, they'll never do it the other way. And if you just plant beans, you lost all that tonnage of corn. You plant corn, you lost all that tonnage. Then the two work good together because what happens, beans throw off nitrogen. The corn grows quicker. It gets taller. It makes the beans taller. They set more pods. Now they produce all this nitrogen, the the corn steals the nitrogen from the beans that don't utilize it and now you made a thing so now i had to go down to uh, louisville kentucky the other year and do a seminar for farmers that don't even like deer (laughs) and now there's several universities doing studies on corn and beans because if they can get them together they say they could raise the population tonnage off these fields over 10 percent you do that all over the country They'll solve any wo- world problem of feed, and f- in the future, they're going to have a stockpile. Thing is, they got to figure out how to make it so they can combine this stuff. The point is, once they get started on something, man's gift was, we will figure it out. There will be some farm boy that will figure out how to make that harvest both, and look what that will do. And it all started out with a guy just trying to get more deer. <laughs> <laughs> That's fascinating. So, yeah, I'm all the double crop of the two most popular grain.